So tell me, how was your day? My day was uh, good. Uh, okay. So since we are talking for the first time, could you tell me a little bit about yourself? I am Ritika. I am nine years old. I study in fourth grade. Mm. And in which school do you read? In New Bombay City School. Uh, okay, so you are from Bombay, right? Yes, sir. Wow, that's amazing. You speak so well. So uh, have you been learning English uh, in your school or you learned from your parents at home? From my school. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you practice with you know, your friends? Can they speak English like you? Yes. They oh, can speak. That's amazing. Okay, tell me about your family. What there do your parents do? Family. I'm sorry, my, could you please my, repeat it? My, there are six members in my family. Mm -hmm. my, okay. is the, my mother is a housewife and three. I have three sisters. Okay, three sisters. Well, that's that's amazing. What, what? Who's the oldest member in your family? Is it your grandfather, grandmother? Uh, my grandfather, grandmother live in village. Okay, so like, who lives in your home, like with you right now, wherever you are living? My mother, father, and my sisters. Mm. Are they younger to you? Or they are the other ones? Younger than me. Ah, so you, you are you the oldest daughter in your home? Yes, sir. Oh, that's amazing. That's really amazing. You are such a smart kid. Like, it's my first time. Uh, no, not really first time. I know one more girl. She's, uh, she's around your age, I guess she's nine or maybe eight. And she speaks like you. And you are so amazing. Like, nowadays, young English generation, so smart. Okay, tell me something about your hobbies. What, what do you like to do in your free time? In my free time, I uh, I will go. I used to go down to play with my friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you have any specific place like where you go usually, like uh, maybe some park or some you know sort of playground? Playground I went. Oh, did you get me? Hmm. I to... okay. How about the water parks? Have you been to a water park? No, sir. Hmm. Do, do you know what a water park is? I really don't know what is that called. Okay, water park is more like, uh, it's a park, but you do have some, you know, slides like water and there will be a swimming pool. You can play with your friends there and there are other rides too. Like, uh, basically uh, the, the environment is like you will need to be in your, you know, swimwears and you will be playing in water. With a lot of toys, a balance around you. Mm, I forgot what it is called, like the round shape tube, which you, you know, put over your body. If you don't know how to swim, how to swim, like they give it to the little children and to some adults who don't really know how to swim. For example, me, I got one when I went last time and I almost got drawn. That was a horrible experience, by the way. So, uh, do you want to visit there? Like, is there any place like that near you? In your area? No, sir. I only park is near me. Okay. Do you know swimming, by the way? I really don't know how to swim. So okay. <laughs> you don't know how to swim. Okay. Yeah. What was what is your name? My name? Mm, well, that's a good question. So my name is Yogesh. I'm from, hmm, let's play a game. Can you guess where where I'm from? Which is my state? Okay, I, I will give you a hint. It, it is in the north, 
not direction. It is in the North India. That's a hint for you. China. No, China. I'm not from the other country. I mean, I'm from India. <laughs> don't go, don't go outside India. Okay. It is a state in India and it is like close to capital. We share border with the capital city, New Delhi. So now it should be easy for you, right? Uh, you, you are right, sir. Okay, so um, I will tell you the options. First, Rajasthan. Second, Haryana. Third, Uttar Pradesh. Fourth, um, let's take Delhi. So out of these four, guess what? From where I am. First, Rajasthan. Second, Haryana. Third, Uttar Pradesh. Fourth, Delhi. Which one? Come on, make a guess. Area Delhi. You will go for with Delhi, right? I think you're from Delhi. Hmm. Is it your final answer? Should I locate? We are playing kind of KBC here. Yes, sir. Okay. Dang, your answer is wrong. <laughs> I'm not from Delhi. So where are you from? Mm, guess what? Uh, you should have asked for the lifelines. Have you uh, watched the KBC of Amitabh Bachchan? You know, that guy, he asked the questions and if you would choose the right option, you will get the money. Sir, I've never watched that. Mm. Mm, it's a pretty popular one. Anyways, uh, you can ask your parents. I'm pretty sure they have watched it because it was super popular. Even now it is popular. So for the answer, I am from Haryana. Oh. It's so close. It was so close. Yeah, you almost answered it right. Because it's right about the daily. And you know, most of the time people do get confused because uh, a lot of Haryanis, you know, they live in the Delhi NCR region. So they do speak like people from Delhi. Our way of talking, our language also, you can say it is pretty much similar because Haryanvi, it's not a language, it's a dialect. Do you know what a dialect is? No, sir. Okay, dialect is more like a local language. For example, if I talk about uh, in Maharashtra, well, Marathi is a language, okay? You do have a written script. So dialect is something, mm, a, a form of language, okay? A different form of language, which most of the time don't have the written script. There is no written script. Like when you write the English, you do have letters A, B, C, D. You do have those alphabet. In Hindi, you have, mm, you know, the letters, you call it ka, ka, ka. But for Haryanmi, there is no written script. Like, it's almost impossible to write it, although people do write it with the English letters and Hindi, but that's not the valid script. Anyways, so how many languages do you speak? I speak two languages, Hindi and English. Mm -hmm. uh, how about the local ones? You, you are from Mumbai city, right? Yes, sir, I'm from Mumbai. So, don't you know Marathi? No, sir, I don't know Marathi. Mm -hmm. I'm from Bhopal. Okay, no, not even... Ah, okay, you're from Bhopal. Ah, you guys do speak Hindi, I guess. Most of the people, they speak Hindi there, right? Yes, sir, they speak Hindi. Okay, but you are living in Mumbai. Uh, since how long? Like, what's the duration? Were you born here or you were born in Bhopal? Right. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what do you like most about your city? Sir? What do you like most about your city? Is there something in your city which you like most? 
uh, it may be a place or maybe you know some sort of like maybe a school maybe some person what's the best thing about mumbai the city you are living in this mm, my school i think <laughs> how 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 it is best why well i think our teacher teach well oh who is your favorite teacher archana ma'am and simran ma'am archana ma'am and simran ma you told me two i want one the most i like who is, who is, who is the best archana Arch that you didn't select her <laughs> Okay, what which subject is your favorite like in your school? In my uh, school the my most favorite subject is English. Oh, you like this language. Mm. So, uh okay, let me ask you. Uh did did your parents told you to practice here on this platform this language or you found out yourself? My uh, sir it's my first time. Uh, well, yeah. Well, I'm pretty much aware. It's your first time. I'm asking, how did you come to know about this platform? Like my father. Your Who father. Knows? Okay. And have you practiced on any other platform, like with some other people like me? This no, sir. Like this. Oh, it is your first time. Mm. Yes, sir. It's my first time. Okay, you are so amazing. You are not even, you know, hesitating for a second. Most of the children of your age, like they, they feel kind of shy. So why don't you feel shy? <laughs> it's a weird question, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. So uh, uh, let me ask you. Um, you talked about your favorite subject. It's English. What's the second most favorite? Yes. English. Is it like, huh? Really? Maths. You like maths? Yes. Fine. I hate mathematics. It's the worst. I why don't like it at all. Why do? Why do? Uh, there, there, there is. Okay, I will tell you the reason. There is no logic. It's not interesting. There is no story. Even if you look at the mathematics textbook, the book, there is not even a picture. <laughs> How can I find it interesting? It's just like black and white. It's not even colorful. Now tell me, how can I find it interesting? <laughs> and why do you find it interesting? What What's so special about mathematics? I like math because. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because what? Okay, let me guess. Let me guess. Um, uh, do you like mathematics because your teacher gives you more marks in that subject? Is it the reason? No, sir. She doesn't give us too much. <laughs> so, what's the reason? Why do you like? It? Like, just give me one reason. I want to know. I really, you know, find it surprising. How can people like this subject? Like. I can accept about everything else, but mathematics, nah, it's not interesting at all. You need to cram a lot. There are so many formulas. Numbers scare me. I like solving the things which are in my book. Oh, okay. So you are a kind of problem solver, right? Yes, sir. Hmm. You know what? When I was in my College, there used to be a guy with glasses this big, like you know, his eyes used to look uh, not like a demon, but it was pretty scary. <laughs> if you see it, you will get nightmares. That kind of look he was having, and he used to you know solve a lot of numericals every single day. Well, I'm pretty sure your eyes are still good, and you are pretty, so don't worry about that scary look. So, anyways, mm -mm, if I ask you about What's the okay? Which concept is your 
favorite in mathematics? Like if I talk about the part, is it algebra? Is it, uh, well, wait, you're a ninth grader, right? Ninth grader. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There must not be too much mathematics now. You will see the tough stuff later when you will be in grade 10, grade 11. Well, grade 11, there will be calculus. If you don't know about that, don't worry. <laughs> there is still a lot of years. So you are yet to have that. Anyways, mm. we are out of the questions and out of the time as well. Mm. Can you give me some tips how to learn English like you? Sure, I can give you the tips. <laughs> OK, one thing you should really try, like I really want to suggest to you, mm, you speak so good, so well. I like. Personally, I don't know any girl around your age or any boy in your age, like any child of around your age who can speak this well. So what you should do is mm -mm, try to be familiar with a lot of different sentence structures. For example, mm, whatever I'm saying, I'm speaking in a certain way. OK, every person has their own way of saying things when they convey their thoughts. They form the structure, they form the sentence, and then they speak. The words they use, the way they form the sentence, it's unique. Well, not unique, but you can say it's quite, uh, you know, personal. You will find a person speaking in a different way, and the same thing, the other person will be speaking in a different way. So I will suggest you to make your own way and for that, the first thing you should try, try to speak slower. When you speak, don't you know speak the sentence too fast. When you complete it, you are you know in a situation like you have run out of the words. There are no nothing more to speak. So try to speak slower. Number two, try to you know think whatever you are going to speak. For example, if I ask you something, try to organize your thoughts. Key point. For example, if I ask you to introduce yourself, give me an introduction of yours. So before starting speaking, before answering, just organize the key points. OK, introduction, my name, the qualification, the place and about the family. Then start speaking. My name is this. I am I'm studying in this much grade. My qualifications are like those are the great stuff. My family, like I do have uh, my father, my mother, my elder or younger sisters in my family, I belong to that place. OK, that will help you to speak without, you know, trying to remember the things in the middle. And there is, you know, a little bit need to learn the grammatical stuff. But uh, if it is just for speaking, you don't need to go too deep into the grammar. Little bit like slowly, we can learn a lot of things. Gradually, you will become habitual.